So I've recently been getting a lot of comments asking, hey Nick, can you show us how to build an off-road car? So I, today, I'm not gonna show you how to build a off-road car. I'm going to show you how to build the best off-road car. All right, so that, that was a little misleading. This is actually how to build a very, very competitive off-road car. You can do this with any car you like. It's not so much about the car, but the tune. Today, I'm gonna be working on a Ram Runner, but you can actually use this on any car. You can use this on your Raptors, your uh, Rally Fighters, your Jeeps, anything you want that can go off-road, your Subarus, your Mitsubishis, anything you want. You can apply this tune to it and you will have a very, very successful car. Also, before we begin, if you don't like technical videos, this is probably not the one for you because there's gonna be a lot of car talk and stuff like that and explaining why certain things are like that over this. So if you're not into all that and you wanna just skip to the drifting, I'll put a thing on the, or not the drifting, the off-roading. I'll put a thing on the screen now. Click that and you'll go to the next part. All right, so let's jump into working on this Ram Runner. Engine swap, swap in the big V8 because it's hella monstrous. Aspiration, what you wanna do is go for a cheeky twin turbo very very useful and then what you want to do for your drivetrain is you want to go all-wheel drive it helps immensely when off-roading it is crazy you can go rear wheel drive if you want to do some like rally stuff around some corners rear wheel drive will help you around the corners but if you want a more competitive car i've found all-wheel drive to be more effective but it's sort of up to the driver as for your tires and stuff uh, basically, you just want to go race and extra grip, as much grip as possible, because off-roading, you're actually going to have quite a bit less grip than you would on the road, obviously. So you want the fattest tires, the best tires possible, and basically, why wasn't that installed? Uh, basically, you want all of the, uh, the best stuff possible. And then the same story goes for pretty much everything else. You want to max everything else out, which will help you in quite a number of ways. Weight reduction is also quite important. It will help you stay light. But you don't want to be so light. If you're in some very, very light off-road cars, for instance, the Willys Jeep, you can make that thing too light to the point where it starts to, like, nearly take off. And that's not good. Because you can hit jumps. If you get too high up in the air, you can actually hit jumps in such a way where it will roll your car just because of where the engine is and things like that. So, weight reduction, to an extent. Same thing with these upgrades. You might not want the most power or the most weight reduction from your parts, like... Like, this actually just removes weight. That's all it does. So, perhaps you may not want this particular part. If your car, or if you're noticing your car is too light and, like, getting crazy, crazy air, probably want to add some more weight. As for the tune of this thing, you want major grip. So, tires, reduce that PSI down. You can actually go even lower than this and just go very to the very bottom at 15 PSI. You can, but I sort of also want this thing to work on-road. So 23 and 21, pretty good. As for your gears, you can do what you want with your gears. That's sort of up to you. Your camber and stuff, I like to go with negative 1.5 and negative 1. But you can actually reduce that if you don't like sliding so much. If you're noticing your car is stepping out a little bit too much, just reduce that down to maybe like negative 0.2, negative 0.2 here. If you're noticing you're sliding around too much. But I find that this works for me. Uh, the camber and stuff, you'll need to experiment with this stuff on your own. As for your anti-roll bars, what you want to do is probably soften them up a little bit. Here's what I like to do. I like to move mine down maybe like, a, maybe just a tiny bit past where, where it's originally started from. Because if you actually take these things onto the road and you pick up pretty high speeds, you can roll very, very easily. If you go onto a road, if you're off-road, you'll be perfectly fine. But if you're, off, uh, if you're on a, like a highway, for instance, and you take a sharp turn, that can go really bad for you. Uh, your rebound stiffness and your bump stiffness, make it super, super soft. I'll talk about this why uh, when we're actually driving the car, but super soft. As for your brakes, do what you want with that. That's up to you. And for your diff, you can just leave that stock. You can maybe play around with your where your power goes, maybe a little bit to the rear. I'm going to do that. Go to negative or 60% uh, to the rear, and that should be good. So let's jump into this, see how it does. Once you have finished up your car and gotten a sweet paint job, I recommend coming to this place. Uh, this is one of my favorite off-roading places in the game. I uh, definitely recommend coming here, just next to the uh, France sign. Very good off-road place. Off-road road. So you might be asking, what makes this car so much better than any other off-road car? It's that stiffness that we used before. The car is very, very soft. If I show you, if I go 
off the track here. Uh, if if you notice, uh, if I hopefully won't hit anything, um, you'll notice the tires will absorb a hell of a lot of the impact. If you had that bump stiffness up or that rebound stiffness up, all of that basically absorption by your springs would be going straight into the body of your car and potentially rolling it, which is pro probably not what you want to do unless you're building a roly-poly car. But yeah, you'll notice a lot of the impact is picked up by those springs. So yeah, that softness or that, that stiffness, I should say, helps crazy amount. If you notice, look how much it's moving. It's moving like crazy. You can actually drive this thing very, very quickly and not have to worry about it really rolling. I haven't rolled this thing once since I've made it. I actually I actually haven't didn't build this car just now. I built it quite a while ago and just had it in my thing and then or just had it in my garage. And then a lot of people were saying, hey, can you make an off-road car? So I'm like, yeah, I'll just show you the car I built. And it seems to be pretty decent for me at least. I like to take this thing online. Probably okay. Probably this particular car, if you notice. Uh, the class is S2 in the top left there, and 937. This particular car, probably not the best for taking online, but it's going to be hella fast if you just want to screw around with some friends. I say that because uh, what you're doing when you're going, uh-oh, that's an invisible wall. Yep. Didn't even roll. Nice. So what you're doing is when you're going online is basically uh, going into a class race. So will be going up against probably people in like the top of S2. So yeah, this particular one is probably not great for going online just because of the class. What I would do if I wanted to take this particular car online, what I would do is reduce the power a little bit. You probably don't need 930 horsepower or so when you're going online. So yeah, like, like what I said, if you want to take this thing online and be competitive in like your online road trips and stuff, reduce the class down to A and you'll be much, much more effective. And again, that depends on the actual car you're using. Maybe a Raptor fully upgraded might be only S or a, a class. And then, hey, maybe we'll need to bump that down to B. Or maybe like a Rally Fighter can go all the way up to S1, but you don't want to be racing like your McLaren P1s and things like that. So what you want to do for those is probably reduce it down to an S2. Just for taking them online because they are big, heavy trucks, you got to remember. And when you're going up against some race cars, you got you to watch out for some of those crazy, crazy grippy things. But yeah, if you're just planning to drive this thing around with some friends and screw around, like play some tag, hella good drift, or hella good off-road car. Oh, providing you don't, it didn't even roll there. It got a, like a wheelie thing, but it didn't roll, which was good. I found this thing, oh, please don't hit me. Thank you. I found this thing has not rolled once for me. It has been so good. It has been ridiculous. I, I really love this thing. So let's actually see what type of speed we can take this thing up to and not have it roll. I was able to max this thing on the highway just fine at 170 or so miles an hour in a live stream, and it was fine there, no issues with it. But off-road, obviously gonna be a little bit different story. You may have some issues rolling, but with this particular car, I've yet to find any. Haven't rolled it once. Going 125 miles an hour off-road and it's like I'm on road. If you look at that suspension, it's just absorbing everything. From this view, I'm pretty much, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's what I mean. If you are too light, your car will do some crazy jumps like that, especially if you're in the Willys Jeep. Your car will do some crazy, crazy jumps like that. And depending on where the weight is in the car, if it's all like in the front, your car will start doing some front flips and that's not good. But yeah, this thing is one hell of an awesome truck. I freaking love this thing to death. If you guys want to download this tune, I will have it available for download, but you can go copy it if you please. It's, it's, oh, 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 the first roll. Don't corner right after a jump. Note to self. That's the first roll I've gotten. So yeah, for me, this is my perfect off-road car. Maybe not this particular one in Forza Horizon. Wish we had lift kits and off-road chunky tires for like the Raptor and things like that. But yeah, that is how you build the best off-road car in Forza Horizon 2. Try them out. They are hella, hella fun. Even if you're not an off-road type of person, seriously, just go try it out and you will have some fun. Go just drive over whatever the hell you please. And like, it's so stable. It's, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. How did I not roll? This car is incredible. I'm sorry, but I've done a pretty good job. This is probably my best car I've built in a Forza game. But anyways, guys, 
Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, if this helped you at all, uh, click that subscribe button down below for more types of videos like this in your subscription box. Also, let me know if you guys want to see another one of these. Uh-oh. Oh, well, didn't roll. Uh, if you guys do want to see another one of these, let me know what truck you guys want to see it on. Or maybe not even a truck, maybe like a Subaru or a Mitsubishi or something like that. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, thanks again very, very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>